Okay, Algebra 1 students, one more example of what can, uh, what may occur um, when you're solving an equation. We have here 24 minus 6r equals 6 times the quantity 4 minus r. Well, there's nothing we can do with the left side of the equation, negative 24 minus 6r, but we can apply the distributive property on the right side, so we get 24 minus 6 times r by the while. Now, look carefully at this equation. 24 minus 6r equals 24 minus 6r. The two sides of the equation are identical. That means that no matter what number is in the r bucket, the equation will be true. So in other words, this equation um, has infinitely many solutions. Now that's not how I would you, that's not how I would like you to answer this. If I if if I if you if the instructions are to solve this equation, um, to me the best response is um, all numbers are solutions. Or you could say any number is a solution. All numbers are solutions, or any number is a solution. Um, the reason, well, the reason is it's obvious, hopefully, but we could, if we were to proceed, um, this uh, negative neg six negative r's over here, and um, let me demonstrate here real quickly. This six negative r's on the left side of the scale, if you will, and this six negative r's on the right side of the scale, they weigh the same amount. And so do the 24's. You end up with 24 equals 24, which is a true statement regardless. Um, some textbooks call equations like this identities. Identities. I don't want to get into that because I want you to remember, I want identity I want that to mean to you the numbers 0 and 1. Those are identities. And I want you to, to remember that term that way. I don't want you to be confused by uh, the term identity, identity for an equation. But if you see it, that's what it's talking about. It's an, it's an equation that's true for all values. Um, and actually, the identity property, the identity properties are a plus 0 equals a. That's the identity property for addition. But that equation is true for all values of A. Um, so, um, so, so if the same thing for A, uh, A plus negative A equals zero. That's the inverse property for addition. But it's true for any value of A. Those two equations are, that's, that's, I know, those are two examples of equations you're familiar with that this is true for all numbers are solutions to these equations. Because these equations are properties. Properties, um, well, that's why they're properties, because every number is a solution to them. They're true for every number. We wouldn't call this equation here a property, but we do, it is an equation for which all numbers are solutions because when you simplify it out, you end up with the same exact thing on both sides of the scale. So we say all numbers are solutions or any number is a solution. Pretty simple.